roof missing, riding through the city, getting it is a damn bitch time. riding with me, sitting pretty. Sun out, always chirping. Missing, riding through the Today's city, a good getting day. lifted, bad bitch riding Where with me, you? sitting pretty. Today I left the doors <laughs> at the crib, but did leave with the stick, did leave with a grip, did leave with a chick. Get the keys, then I dip, speed and weave in the whip, through the town for a split, then proceed to the strip and slow it down for a bit, cruising through like I'm the shit. <laughs> So when did when it made it off of, come off the ground? So all right, so um, 2012, I got the very first hat made. You know, okay. so the very first made it off a hat was made in 2012. I uh, was wearing it myself, you know, and the homies started asking for caps, Which man. It? You know what I mean? Mount Barry, like Cardo, all my guys was like, "Yo, what I need a hat, bro? What's up with a hat, bro? I want a hat, bro." So you know, I just went and got them shits made for them. Got the hats made for the guys. Gave the guys hats. And from there, I just started using the clothes to, like, leverage radio. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, would, I would go to uh, 103. I would go to Hot 91 more more so than others because that's college radio. But, yeah. you know, in our market, though, that's still one of the more prominent radio For stations. For sure. And, you know, as an artist, an independent artist, that's one of the more easily accessible radio stations because they got less guidelines they got to follow. Like, with radio, you know what I mean? With niggas is on, excuse me, like, majors, like, Clear Channel and shit. And with this, uh, I think 103 is clear channel also, but when they got like a big overhead, you know what I mean? They can't do certain shit. For sure. Hot 91 can kind of do what they want. Whatever they want to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. college radio. So I would go to all of the college DJs and just flood the niggas with made in Norfolk hats and shirts and say, and say, yo, play my record. You know what I'm saying? Do, do it still feel crazy that, and I ain't lying, when you go back home, if it's an event, let's say a Norfolk State homecoming mm -hmm. or a concert or. Do it still feel surreal to see niggas in your shit, yeah, that shit is everywhere crazy. you go? That shit's still wild to me. You okay. know what I mean? It's a blessing, for real, because for me, it was just, I'm going to try this shit, because I love the time. I'm going to mm -hmm. make a hat with it to say I love, love the time, basically, and put it out and see how niggas fuck with it. And people really, like, have gravitated to a point now where they buying the product because they feel the same way I do. At first, niggas was fucking with it because they was fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? Then now it's at a point where it's just like, no, nah, I love to see you in Norfolk, so I'm wearing it. So I've had conversations with people, and they weren't made in Norfolk, and not know I got nothing to do with this shit. Come on, man. You know what and I'm saying? And that's why I think I think you at that point where a nigga has a made in Norfolk shit and be standing next to you, yeah. and not even know you. And not even shit. know, like, and, it's, yeah. and that shit is fire to me, that's like, dope, though. Yeah, you know what dope, I mean? Like, dope. it just what it does for me. I tell uh, everybody what it does is it pre it it presents a sense of like, kind of being like omnipresent you know what i mean that was always one of my biggest things like how i so it, with dsps like you said with music not being as important to people mm -hmm. you know what i mean the, the, the consumption of physical music i mean like having a cd what can i do to always be around so if a nigga see some shit they can think damn that's, that's yeah, driving that's you know what i mean shit. Okay. that's driving shit you know what i mean so even if you don't know me and you got this you know somebody else might be out and see that shit and be like Damn, that nigga fuck with Driver. Oh, you know, you know a Driver? They be like, nah, who is that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nah, go look this nigga up. He uh, only, you know what I mean? Whatever. So, that that shit just it's dope. It's fire. It's crazy for real. It never gets it never gets old. And it I can't. Never, it I can't. Never, it yeah, can't, bro. I'm not, I ain't gonna lie to you. It never gets old, like, and I man. never take that shit for granted, bro. Never. Did, never. did you ever want to expand? Because I know at one point I seen mm -hmm. a maid out the beach and made, yeah. but I'm like, uh, exactly. It's kind of like, uh, exactly. And that's no shade to, to the other seven cities, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, honestly, like, that we are what cool is in the 7-5. For sure. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? Like, a nigga know, if you really from the area, bro, you know, like, no shade to nobody else. If you looking for wave and energy, you coming through the hey, town, listen, you know what I'm saying? Say that again because, and I'm, I'm getting at y'all, because I listened to pretty exclusive uh, podcast with uh, Trevelli <laughs> and Rizzy and, uh, and uh -huh. Ashley. Shout out to they said Norfolk oh, niggas can't dress. And I said, huh. listen, on, when I heard that shit, Stop I was like, what? Stop I want to think it was Rizzy said that. Stop that. And I said, huh? Stop that. Stop that. We Driving, I'm not being funny. Stop that. Norfolk niggas, I, I, but we ain't going to get into the, that. The cool runs through the town. Like, if it don't, pass, every day. If it don't pass through Norfolk and it's deemed as being cool, it'll never be seen in that light. You get what I'm saying? Like, and that's just what it is, though. So, because the city is kind of fucked up now with how they going about politics in regards to clubs and shit like that, it ain't as many clubs there. But we know a nigga had to really come through the town 
and be seen in the town to be seen as somebody. Like, I got niggas from Portsmouth that I love all day. I love them in life. But niggas was not running. Come on, man. Niggas was not running through Portsmouth. I'm looking at the camera so y'all know. (laughs) Niggas was not running through Portsmouth to be seen as the cool nigga. They was not running through Chesapeake to be seen as a nigga that was doing it. You not running through the beach to be seen as a nigga that's doing it. If you want to be viewed as somebody that's making waves, you want to build a name for yourself, you coming through the town and you planting your flag. That's just how it works. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like you said, it was no club bigger than Entourage. Niggas made themselves coming through that club. Everybody came in. Coming through there, they niggas made names for themselves. You know what I mean? Just in the town in general, you know? Like I said, it's unfortunate now how, how things are going from a political space they kind of like moving us out 